and Lou sitting together. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose and in today's video we might be unboxing some plants. Ha! I have only ever done one other unboxing video so this is super exciting for me personally and hopefully also for you. But first, the question of the week. And the question this week is, what are your favorite web shops? I get a lot of questions of where I get my plants from since you guys seem to love some of my, my favorites over there. My Caspar the Ghost, Florida Ghost, and my Varicosum and stuff, the Dragon Scale. So I made a video about this, which you can find on my channel now. I'll link it on top there and also in the text below in the description because there are some favorite shops but there are especially tips on what you should look out for in case you are looking into ordering online. So I hope that helps answer your question. Let's unbox this baby. I was actually expecting two packages. I've only received one so far. This is my order from orchids.nl which if you've seen my web shop video you know what is inside. I'm pretty sure my cats will be excited about this little box. It's a good size for them. Bushes! Ooh, lots of newspaper, which I love. Reusing materials. Ah, this is so exciting. So, looks like this. One plant. Ooh. I'm gonna put them to the side. Maybe both plants are in there because what we've got here is a big bag of perlite, which I needed, and a block of spag moss. This is my favorite type of moss. It is very clean. There are no bugs inside, no ants, no nothing. I love this kind. You just have to rehydrate it and then it's ready. Oops, I just noticed that I cut open. <laughs> By opening the package, I cut open the moss. Oopsie. Now this is the exciting part. I literally have only ever once received a plant in the mail from a shop. So ah, I'm extra excited. Here we go. I hope you can see this. I have no idea if I framed it right. Let's see. Oh! <laughs> there it is. This is my Makoda Spatola, which I've wanted for so long. Look how pretty that is. I can't believe this in real life and wrapped really well. Here's the little sign, the plant passport, and then in plastic in a little pot with moss inside. Let's check the roots. Orchids.nl is a specialized orchid grower here in the Netherlands. And I know they have heaps and heaps of these. I've seen photos of their nursery and I actually am planning to do a greenhouse tour with them as well because they open once a month to the public. This is adorable. It's got five leaves and one new leaf unfolding. It's really heavy and the moss looks kind of green. It's really like soaking wet. I don't know if they like that or something. Oh, I may have to do something with it. But I think I'm going to leave it in here for a few days so that it can um, acclimate to my house without also getting the shock of the roots. Jeez, this is stunning. This is so much more pretty than I was expecting. <gasps> it's like little lightning on the leaves and, that, and it's a, like a shimmery kind. I'm super excited about this. Ooh, yay. Now this one is a similar plant. Just because they were, well, they were quite a lot of money, but I figured if I'm going to pay for shipping, then I can get two. And this one is similar. Ooh, but darker. Oh, I might like this even more. Sorry, Makotas Patola. This is Makotas Lowii. Lowii. And this little guy is more red than the other one. It is pretty small, which actually is pretty expensive for what I've paid for it. These are 12 euro 50 each. 
so for such a small plant that's actually quite a lot of money if you think about it this one has one two three four leaves and one unfolding i'm lying on the table because i want to show you so bad i love this this is like the makotas patola but a little bit more red brown leaves instead of green which ah it's stunning hello lowy lowy and kim okay <laughs> This one is called Lowy Eye, so I'm naming it Louis, Louis, Louis. And one of my previous colleagues who was awesome was named Louis. And the other colleague that I love there is named Kim. So that's how I come up with my names, very random. I'm actually excited to see what my boyfriend thinks of these because I feel like if he sees them, once he sees them, he might be in love. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping. So my plan for these two is to pop them up into my little glass house, greenhouse. I feel like they would do well in there, but I haven't really researched these, so we'll see. I feel like my terrarium, you, you can't really see them. They don't really shine because it's so big and there's so many different plants in there. And I want these guys to be like centerpieces. So pretty. I'm so excited. <laughs> I am back. My second parcel arrived a day later, so let's open that up. It's super small because these are some plug plants. Let's have a look. This is from Baby Plants Online and they always wrap in plastic. Baby Plants Online. Ooh, look, there they are, the minis. So I don't really like this plastic because the more plastic, the worse for the world, but it is really practical to keep the plants safe and I'll show you if I can get it open Whew. so there we are there's two little plants in there one ooh, nice silver dragon with a new leaf coming out and then one black velvet alocasia both alocasia there's gonna be soil everywhere <laughs> I don't want my house to be a mess I'm gonna try and keep it in here these seem pretty well rooted, as you can hopefully see. Roots on all sides. Ooh, pretty cold though. Gonna have to warm these up a little bit. This one actually has a new leaf that's pretty big already, so that's really cool. Oh, little boy, you are so cold, your roots. This took one day longer than expected in the mail, probably because of... Thank you. And then this little... <laughs> Silver dragon, which has a little bit of variegation on the leaf. Just in case I didn't think it was cool enough by itself. So here we are. These roots are a little bit smaller and all the soil fell off. Here are is the new leaf coming out underneath here. Can you see? And then this one has a little dot of variegation on it. Oh, it's cute. And it's putting out a new root. I'm going to warm these up slightly. Take a little bit of the soil off so that the cold soil goes away. Yay, I'm so happy with these. These look really nice. Now, the last time I ordered from these guys, the plants ended up with a lot of problems and pests. I talked to them about it and they said that it might be because baby plants are, because they're, they're nice and <laughs> tasty for the bugs. So it could have been that I already had pests and they hopped onto the baby plants because they are more tasty. They said they have a person now um, taking extra care of the plants, making sure that they treat all the bugs and stuff. I hope this new leaf will unfold since it might be a little bit shocked from transport. But yeah, these are really cute. I'm gonna pop them up and then I'll show you a close up and clean up the mess, whoops. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more unboxings or if you prefer the houseplant tours. At the moment, I can't do any tours because we're staying inside as much as possible. Sadly, I am missing my favorite garden centers and the people who work there. But 
I actually love this unboxing. I'm so happy with these plants. So this has been a positive experience. If you like this video, don't forget... <laughs> I can't say these sentences anymore. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that. It really means a lot to me to connect with so many of you that are into plants and yoga and self-love and sustainability and all the other cool things that I like to make videos about. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. They're so pretty. I can't believe it. I am in love with you. Kim and Louis sitting on the table. Kim and Louis sitting together. I'm completely normal.